GSB continuing to investigate the deadly crash on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. We are learning there were no seat belts for passengers in the back of the motor bus involved. Three people on board that bus were killed. And as Chris Hoffman explains, one NTSB board member is expressing frustration over federal seat belt rules. The NTSB has been pushing for seatbelts on buses to avoid deadly crashes like we saw over the weekend on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. They say this bus was just 10 miles from New Stanton where they would have switched bus crews. Now, the NTSB board member on scene, Jennifer Homedy, says the bus was carrying 56 people in addition to the driver, and none of those passengers had seatbelts. It's unclear if the driver was wearing one or not at this time. Investigators say the bus lost control, hit the center median, then went up an embankment before it landed on its side and was hit by multiple tractor trailers. In all, five people were killed and more than 60 injured in this crash. According to state police, three of the victims from the bus were thrown. During their investigation, the NTSB will look at three factors, man, machine, and the environment in hopes of improving safety nationwide. And they say another deadly crash like this highlights the importance of seatbelts on buses. We have issued recommendation after recommendation to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to have lap shoulder belts on motor coaches and other vehicles. Those haven't been implemented, yet we continue to see accidents where passengers are ejected. Now, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration told our New York affiliate it has mandated buses made after 2016 to have seatbelts, but they haven't required older models to be retrofitted. State police say this bus is from 2005. The NTSB says they will have a preliminary report in the next 10 days. Their full investigation is expected to take anywhere from 18 to 24 months. We're along the turnpike. Chris Hoffman, KDKA Morning News on Pittsburgh CW.